I decided to start Jittery Cakes because I fell in love with cake decorating and it was either that or dentistry, so I chose the more fun option. <laughs> Jennery Cakes is a boutique bakery that also has expanded to um, serve the at-home baker with things like our liquid flavors, edible glitters, and our range of cookbooks. Jenna and I had always hoped to work together one day, and we were like, let's just do this, let's both do it for real and just see what happens and work hard and maybe something will come of it, and that's kind of always been our attitude. <laughs> But when we first opened, we were like, what do we want to see in a bakery? I wanted to see like the charms flavor things. I wanted to see cotton candy, mm -hmm. all these things that maybe classically trained pastry chefs might turn their nose at. Yeah, we got a lot of pushback in the beginning saying like, you're doing cookie sandwiches, you're doing fuzzy peach macarons, you're not a real bakery. And we're like, well, we're the type of bakery we want to go to, so maybe other people will too. I think when we're like sitting at our meeting table and just looking around and seeing everyone there who's like equally as invested in the company as we are and working hard and walking through the kitchen and the storage room, it's just, it's always surreal to kind of see. It is always surreal, especially when you think back to where we started. Yeah. And from one employee to now around 50, and just to be able yeah. to have that kind of support, it's really great. Yeah, sometimes going through this space and shutting off the lights, we're like, wow, this is like our business, how did <laughs> we get here? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think for me, when, when we first opened, I just, I was so in awe of how supportive the community was. I think because maybe Winnipeg is a small, but a big city, so it still has that small feel. We wouldn't be here without community. Um, we live here, our kids are growing up here. We take it very seriously. We want to give back as much as we can. Um, and we decided to create Generate Cakes Gives Back, and that's our local charity initiative that we change up every month for a new local charity. And we donate 5% of our total cupcake sales. So over the last few years, we've been able to make, I feel like, a pretty big impact in our community. I think the most unexpected thing, especially when I started, was that I had to do everything that, like, I opened a bakery because I wanted to make cakes, but I was doing like 90% of other things and then making cakes on the side. <laughs> and now we've built a team around us who truly help us so much with those day-to-day -day tasks. Um, I got involved in Generate Cakes actually right from the onset. Um, the business kind of started in our apartment. Uh, we decided that as far as our brand goes, working with a locally owned and operated business was really something that's important to us. We heard really good things about PayWorks. Um, we had a lot of friends in the small business community who used it as well and they said nothing but good things. We were using manual timesheets and then we were administering payroll with PayWorks, but I would have to enter everything manually. Since then, now we've got it all under one roof. It's been incredibly seamless. It, it saves me so much time and I found it to be really a, a really versatile tool. The best part of my day here is coming and working with Ash and Trev and our dad and just our family of employees. Like they really are like a family now, so working with people that you love is really great. The part that I like about being in charge of a business is the challenges. It's always interesting. There's always new problems to solve. That's also what I don't like about it, but um, <laughs> I think it's, it's nice to be in control of the decisions that we make and seeing them through. But like we sometimes look at each other and we're like, where's the adult we can talk to yeah, that like handle like, this? <laughs> qualified around here that yeah. can answer this for us. We do get imposter syndrome on the daily, I think at yes. least I do. So. Oh, me too. But as long as you stay true to your vision and what you want and you know you're doing a good job and you know you're providing a good environment for your employees and that's all you can really do. We just lead with the motto, treat people how you want to be treated and that solves, I think, most of the issues.